respond to these images I have. So if you want to connect in any way to these, it could be a memory, it could be a story you remember, it could be a movie you like. If these make you think of anything like that, just jot a few words down. Just get some words on the paper, it doesn't have to be complete sentences. Just kind of get, get an idea of, thank you. I'm just going to do the first paragraph out loud so you guys hear some of what I like to mark. So, the title is Arm Wrestling with My Father. And that's the first thing I'm going to do. And I'm going to make an infinity sign because I'm making connections. Arm wrestling with my brother. That was always a really intense moment <laughs> in our house. So, I'm going to make that connection. Now you say win is what he always said before an arm wrestling match. He liked to put the responsibility. That seems like an important word. Now I know this isn't on the chart, but I'm going to underline it because I think it's important. On me, knowing that he would always control the outcome. Win, I'd shout, and it would start. And I would tense up, concentrating and straining and trying to push his wrist down to the carpet with all my weight and strength. And again, I'm going to make the same connection. Me and my brother, my brother's five years older than me. So he's so much stronger. I could never win. But dad would always win. I always had to lose. Want to try again, he would ask. Grinning. Oh, that's sweet. I kind of like that part. So I'm going to put an exclamation mark because it's kind of like, wow, something special. He would see my downcast eyes and my red and sweating face and sense my intensity. And with squinting eyes, he would laugh at me, a high laugh. Though through his perfect white teeth, too bitter to smile, I would not answer or look at him. But I would just roll over on my back and 
and frowned at the ceiling. I never thought it was funny at all. So why don't you continue reading, continue with these markings, and then we'll talk in a little bit. I'm going to continue to read here too. Yeah. Yeah. The love I could I put the I put the question mark there too. 
Yeah, the love you can only assume was there. So it's very like iffy. And the author's kind of sharing that iffiness with us. Anybody have an example of a connection that they made of something that's in the text that they connected to, whether it's their personal life or another text they've read? Um, it's not actually anything to do with Father, but when he said his mom wrote me all the cards and letters when I was away from home, and um, my mom sends me cards now, and my, my dad writes to himself, yeah. and that's the difference, but I really connected to that piece of it. Right. I really like that he tied his mother in, like he didn't just talk about just his dad, he did talk about this relationship between both of them how their relationship interacted with him and his father's relationship. So it brought some dimensionality to that. Any other connections that people made? Yeah. The, the first thing, now you say when. My mom used to say that to me all the time when I was really little, for getting like, I don't know, milk or <laughs> treats or, or something. Like say when, when I was you know, good. That's how much I wanted. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's always the next one. Brianna? Well, my grandfather's definitely a communicator, but um, the part where he's talking about the lacrosse games and stuff, so I did martial arts in school, and I used to come home and my grandpa would always want like me to show my grandma what I learned, because he would go and he would watch and stuff, and I just remember like taking him down and then just being so excited. <laughs> but I, it's a little different, because there's like a lot more communication there, but it reminded me that yeah. centered around sports, kind of. Yeah. Um, so some of the connections I made were kind of similar to what Brian's talking about, about like extracurricular activities and sports. Um, I connected to the piece about orchestra concerts um, because I was in band, like my entire school career, um, and like my dad rarely got to show up, mostly because he was a businessman and was busy or traveling, but. Still, it, it sparked that connection. Um, and then, let's see. Does anybody have any? Um, so I know we were circling words that we didn't know. Did anybody circle or underline any other words that brought meaning to the story? Like made it more emotional? Jennifer? Um, I don't know about emotional, but it's the last paragraph on the first page. Mm -hmm. um, he called it a ritual. Yeah, and I thought that kind of gave it context level, like, It did, and it also gave it, like, more gravity, just like, because you could say the experience of father-son competition. Which one's better, experience or ritual? Ritual. Ritual. So it, it, it definitely brings a different level to it. Any other examples of words like that, Kelly? Um, well, really what, you know, after you've read through the entire story, you'll see that his point is that his father, in his mind, is this strong man who just brings all of this physical information to their relationship. So it just, it brings a different level. And it, yeah, he definitely keeps using words like that. Do you have a couple examples of some of the words that he uses? Um, well, in the first paragraph, he, uh, it says, knowing he would always control the outcome, um, he uses all his weight and strength, um, or it's always in a peaceful relationship. Um, later, when he's talking about, he doesn't have to fight anymore. Um, he says, I'm no longer a rebel in the household wanting to stand against the master with clenched fists and tents and jaws. Yeah. Those are, so right from the get-go, you pointed out several like really strong graphic, almost, words in that opening sentence, uh, paragraph. Uh, any words that you guys didn't know that we were circling or that were used in a unique way? I circled, I circled